How to Wolf Whistle. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. The wolf whistle is a commonly used way of getting someone's attention or showing appreciation for a particularly attractive specimen that's just caught your eye. Your girlfriend's run off during a shopping trip? Get her attention with a good old whistle. You've just walked past the fitty from next door? Let her know you like what you see. We're going to show you all the tricks to help you master the wolf whistle. Oh, and if you are going to whistle at a random in the street, always make sure you check out your subject thoroughly first to avoid potentially threatening situations. The classic four finger whistle. This is probably the loudest whistle you can humanly achieve on your own. The more air you blow out, the louder the whistle. Cover your teeth with your lips and pull them tight so they are no longer visible. Place your index and middle fingers from both hands part way into your mouth. They should be facing inwards. Draw back your tongue so it hovers flat behind your front teeth. Now blow out sharply. The one-handed energy saver. Make an OK sign with your thumb and index finger. Make sure there is a small gap at the tips of your fingers where the air can pass through. Put your fingers to your mouth and close your lips tightly around them so the air will just pass through the tiny hole. Warning, your lips should be tight and not loose and floppy. Draw back your tongue in the same way as the classic four finger whistle and blow out in the same way. The no hands required maestro whistle. This is for the real pros. Mastering the no hands required whistle means you can remain anonymous when doing it. No one's going to catch you hurriedly taking your hands away, you're totally innocent. You'll need to extend your bottom jaw and push the corners of your mouth back so your bottom teeth are not on show. Now pull back your tongue so it's level with your lower teeth and make sure it's nice and flat in your mouth. Now it's time to blow out. The air should flow around your mouth and you can use your upper lip to direct the air down over your tongue and out. Adjust your mouth to find the best spot where your whistle is loudest. Practice. Finally, always try to practice your whistle before you try it out on the unsuspecting public as there's nothing worse than trying to attract someone's attention and emitting a noise like an asthmatic tortoise. Done.